Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. So tomorrow, not for you guys, it was a few days ago, but the 14th of April I am turning 28 years old. It is my birthday and therefore I want to do like a pre-birthday glam, like getting ready for my birthday. I plan to do so many things in this video, but I didn't have even time to do half of it, but I did have time to do the most important things. Here's a little before how I looked at you, am I right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that is how I looked uh, in the beginning of today. And now I look like this, so much cuter. I'm a little bit stressed, as you guys will notice in this video. I have to get going to the bus. Like, two minutes to the bus so if you want to see how i went from that other person <laughs> the pre me to uh, this and just hang out with me today um getting ready for my birthday uh just go ahead and keep watching this is not really something super necessary i do not need to be tanned for my birthday but i just got a PR <laughs> with a new fake tan that should smell like strawberries and therefore I want to try it. And also it's fun to just, you know, do a lot of things just to freshen up a little bit. Even though I love to be pale. I got a little robe here so I'm gonna put that on and then we're gonna fake tan. I gotta get the hair out of the way. The bangs as well. So let's start with the face, luxurious face mousse. And I'm just using a random like powder brush to blend Ooh, this in. Oh, ASMR. What happened? Did you hear that? Okay, I don't know what happened. One of my um, lights just turned itself off. It's great when I just started filming ears as well but what happened with the lights oh. it worked so as you guys can see this does have a color guard it's like an instant fake tan but it will also develop over time oh i'm getting it all over my fingers and i would kind of try the new limited edition scent so let's see if it actually Smells. <gasps> I hope it stays like that. I wonder, yeah, this doesn't feel like it has a color guard, or obviously. <laughs> I like a color guard because that way I don't miss a spot, but we'll just hope for the best. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my whole body, but you will not see that. And then I will be back and we will do our fingernails because these need some help. So I want to do a pink set because I have pink hair now. And I did save some on my Pinterest. So I want to do like something like this or maybe something like that or something like these. But I was thinking it was so long ago since I used some poly gel. So I have this nail extension gel kit that I bought from a cart so long ago and I have not used it. So here we have some a poly gel, four different shades and they are all these like glitter. They are so, so pretty. There you guys can see it, right? It is so pretty. Just for the funsies, I wanna go in with the base coats, even though I do have uh, my cart's base and top coat here, just for the video. And then we have a cute little file, so pretty. And then the um, uh, brush and the spatula. I was thinking to do it with uh, full cover tips, but first we need to fix our cuticles and just like file the um, nail plate. So for that, I'm using my McCart e-file with my cuticle bit also from McCart. And I'm gonna use one of these ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and push my cuticles back a little bit. And then let's see, we're gonna put the two six maybe and just get rid of the cuticles here and just 
push them back a little bit more. And then I switch the rotation and do the same thing, but going this way. And then we switch it to this one and I'm just gonna file the nail plate very gentle. Pretty much just get rid of all of the shine on the nail. And if I still have some gel left, then I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of the nails, which I probably should have started with, but you know, I always forget that. I'm gonna go in with a little alcohol pad. Just wipe the nails completely to get rid of all of the oils and dirt. Then I'm gonna go in with the dehydrator and just lightly go over that. And then for the primer, now we're gonna put on a base coat. Then I have my lamp right here. So I'm just gonna go in with a 60 second cure. I'm gonna start off with trying and using one of these and putting the polo gel underneath. So let me go ahead and put some in here and we're just gonna see if this works. Oh, look at that pretty color. I have a little bit of a alcohol prep right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push this everywhere. Okay, I have my lamp ready and now I'm just gonna put it. Probably should have used a bigger size. Yeah, I really should have used a bigger size. Fuck. Let me just go ahead and redo that. Let's try this again, but with a bigger size. Really hope that this will look good. That's looking good, right? Clean up the sides a little bit. Go ahead and cure that. Oops. I really need a bigger table. So here we have it. I actually think that looks really cool. I love the glitter. I wish it was a little bit thicker. I'm gonna pick out my sizes and I'm gonna go for one size bigger. The sizes are a bit weird on these ones. Not a huge, huge fan. Put in some poly gel there. Maybe too much, but whatever. Push this into the shape that I want. See if this will turn out as good. Just gonna make sure there's no gel on my skin. So there we have two done. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the three and then I will be back. And there we have them. So quick. This was such a good decision because it was so quick and it looks so good already. Obviously um, it has spilled out a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the cute little file that I got. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the cuticles a little bit like that. Then the sides. Oh no, I just cut myself. <laughs> Uh, well, you know why? Because people always say that you need to go in with your old uh, file and file down the sides. Probably why I hurt myself now. So, a tip. And there we have them all filed. Sorry about the sound outside Jonas is uh, vacuuming. <laughs> I want to do something like this. So I have some black paint, some white paint, some rhinestone glue, and then I have all of these. Maybe some of these pink hearts, glue them on. Maybe some of these like butterflies and maybe some of these. But to be honest, I do not have a lot of time, so I have to get these ready in like 20 minutes. So let's do this. As you guys saw, I tried some, but I just feel like it looks a little bit chunky and it just 
doesn't look good. So I'm just gonna remove all of the glue chunks that I did and we are just gonna go in with not base coat, a top coat. And then I'm gonna say that the nails are done. Oh, look at at that when it's glowy oh so pretty the nails are done and they are looking gorgeous you know what i'm realizing is that like excuse me my favorite murder <laughs> the nails are done and i am loving them they are looking so cute i love how like see-through they are um, I just uh, washed my face because uh, I looked crazy <laughs> with the color guard. Um, I have not had a chance to um, wash my body, but I think that's fine. I think it's okay to go out with fake tan because it doesn't really smell. It doesn't smell like strawberry anymore, but it doesn't smell as strong as some do. But I... Um, that's my alarm, as you can see can probably hear I'm a little bit stressed. It's six o'clock now and I have to go to the bus in 50 minutes and I have to dress myself. I have to do my makeup and I have to do my hair. So let's just go ahead and do this quick. Then some eye cream, very important. So I have not really said, but today it is the day before my birthday. So today it is the 13th of April and my birthday is the 14th. But me and Jonas are going out today to eat at my favorite place here in Stockholm called Min Mat, which is like Vietnamese food. <laughs> and they have a lot of like really nice vegan options. And tomorrow, I don't know what we're gonna do. Jonas has said that um, he has some plans, but he hasn't told me what. But I think that we're just gonna be at home because I have said that I do want to be with jo uh, with Tebow. Uh, this foundation used to be a little bit dark for me, but it is like the perfect shade right now. The day after that, on Saturday, uh, I'm gonna go out with my closest friends and we're gonna eat dinner and have a few drinks, which is really nice because I have like two friend groups ish one group is just me and another friend and they uh these two people persons have not even met some of them have but not all of them so tomorrow my best friend is gonna meet my other best friend <laughs> i feel like we all have like our childhood friends and then we have our like new friends <laughs> it's not like they wouldn't match together but they're just very different but i think that they're gonna go uh, great together because all of them love me i really don't mind having very few friends uh on saturday it's only three friends and me i do not mind having fewer friends but better ones do, 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 do. And there we have it all blended. Now we're just gonna go in with some powder and start underneath the eyes. And then I'm just gonna do my T-zone a little bit. I think it is awful that NYX Professional Makeup decided to discontinue this. I do know that they have like singles, but not sure what this would be, what shade this would be. But I've been loving it lately. As you can see, it just goes so much better with my hair. I know I said I didn't like this one, but now when I have this hair color again, <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. I need to shave the brows a little bit. I do this like every other day. I really wanted um, now for my like birthday celebrations to do more than this. I wanted to do dyeing my brows, dyeing my eyelashes and stuff like that. But maybe I can do a video like that. Like getting ready for spring or getting ready for summer. But at least I got three things done. Why am I even doing this? I have like 10 minutes and I'm putting some pink in my brows. I really do not 
need to have a pink hue in my brows. I'm using Lovesick. I am stressed. And now, my favorite thing, an eyeliner that can save any look. And then the inner. That was a good choice, right? I haven't used false lashes that often nowadays. I don't know why. I just felt like it looks cute without it. But, ugh, I love it so much. Mascara is on. And the makeup is done, I think. Except for the lips, obviously. But I'm just going to go ahead and straighten my hair. Just going to straighten and curl the tips so now i'm gonna put on my outfit and then we'll do the lips lastly <sighs> i just looked and we can actually take a um, the bus after but we might be late to the restaurant like two three minutes but that's fine but now we're gonna do the lips and yes i have started to overline them a lot <laughs> after i removed my fillers some gloss Oh, I love how I just got like another 10 minutes. A white liner. Let's do just a tad bit of teasing. It's a curse from when I was a scene kid. Now I just can't go outside without it. A blessing, but also a curse. <laughs> that looks good, right? I'm gonna put on Etha Love rings. Earrings. I've been loving my creoles again i used to have these like every single day before I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of hairspray i cannot believe it but i think that we are done <laughs> we have to go to the bus in like eight minutes let's just go ahead and wrap this up quite quickly first of all the nails and uh, all of the rings that I have are from Etha Love. They are handmade and they are made out of silver. They're so, so pretty. And then, of course, the nails. I'm so happy with them. And then we have the makeup. The makeup look that I feel the prettiest in is a makeup look like this. Just a very doll-like lash. Something, like, bright on the eyes. And then a very dramatic wing which i always do and then i mean a nude lip just always works also the uh, earrings by the way they are also from etha love i think and then this one is from crazy piercing i think which like uh, the tunnels are as well and then of course we have the outfit so here we have it this is like my favorite set of all time we have a um, little cute blouse that I found second hand and then this plaid set is from Love Choo Choo. If you also would want a pink version of this, please go to Love Choo Choo and just spam them. I have already commented on one of their posts that they should do a pink one, but maybe if we are more people, they might do it. And then something new, I don't know if you can see this, <laughs> but I have bloomers on. It does look really cute when you can see a little bit of it. <laughs> so yeah, that is my outfit. And that is it for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed everything that I have used today. The nails, the hair, the makeup, everything. I will link it down below. And yeah, now I'm gonna head out and eat the most amazing vegan dinner. Hope you guys have an amazing day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys.